Then you will see this window. Updating the BIOS can solve many problems in your laptop. And this is not a speculation, because I'm quite serious. Today I will show you how to update the BIOS on the example of Dell Precision 5540 laptop. This method will work on most Dell laptops, so let's get started. So let's get into it. First of all, you need to open your browser. For example, I will open Google Chrome browser. Nextly, you need to type Dell drivers. Most likely, you will see this website, dell.com. So from this website, you can download and install original drivers from manufacturer website. A link I will leave in the video description. So click on it. Here, we need to insert our model number, more precisely, serial number. So, where you can find the serial number? Most likely, you can find serial number of the laptop on the back cover of the laptop. However, I want to mention one very important thing. Just to clarify that it's your serial number, I recommend to use one simple command. So I will leave this command in the video description. We need to open CMD and paste this command. Wmic BIOS get serial number. Because sometimes after you bought the laptop that was used, the back cover may be changed to another because there was some scratches or it was broken. That is, back cover of the laptop may be not original. To know the current serial number of your laptop, you need to copy this command. Then we will type CMD, run it as administrator, click on the right mouse button, and voila, here's the serial number of my laptop, HV88M33. Now you need to copy this command. I will hit Ctrl plus C. Now we can close this command and open browser. So here you need to paste the serial number of your laptop and click on search. Finally, you may see that this is Dell Precision 5540 laptop. One more time, I want to explain. Long story short, the same name of the laptop doesn't mean that they have the similar specification and the similar motherboard. That's why it's necessary to insert the serial number of the laptop. Serial number may be different. From now on, you need to clarify that this is your laptop. So in my situation, indeed, this is Dell Precision 5540 laptop. This is Dell a laptop, everything okay. So be sure that this is your laptop. Be sure to charge your laptop to 100%. After all, when updating the BIOS, it will be dangerous if electricity suddenly turns off and there is no juice in the battery. Or at least you need to have some juice in the battery. Now let's get into it how to download and update the BIOS. Scroll down a little bit. This is automatically driver installation. We need to find access to complete list of drivers and downloads for Precision 5540. Probably you will have another model. So click here. What is very important here to choose the version of your Windows. So in my case, I have Windows 10 64-bit. Here you may see Precision 5540 and we have 83 drivers. And for this specific device, for my Dell Precision, we have only 38 drivers. That's the drivers what we need to install. To make it much easier, we have categories. We need to click here and find BIOS. Click on it. As you can see, we have only one file, the most relevant. That's because Dell deletes older drivers and upload the newer drivers. I want to mention that I already updated BIOS, so I have the latest version. However, I will show you how to do it. Now you need to click on download and decide where you want to save this file. So I will select my desktop, click on save. Before updating, of course, I recommend to do backup if you have some important data, some important files, utilities, just save them to another HDD, SSD drive or into the cloud. It will all depend on you. So do backup. Here's the thing. I stopped recording video using screen recording utility and now I'm recording video using my smartphone because laptop may restart. So we need to run this file as administrator. Click on the right mouse button, 
select run as administrator click on yes after all this process you will see this window you can take a close look at the current version and at the newer version so the current version is your actual version as i said before i have the latest version so actually we have the same results also on the left side you may see the version how many battery percent do we have and the serial number everything is okay and we just need to click on update be patient, take your time, do not close this window, and of course, do not shut down the power. You may notice that it's updating a lot of important features, and now we just need to restart the system. So click on the restart, it automatically uh, restarting the system, sometimes, sometimes. If it doesn't, you can manually click on the startup menu and restart your laptop. Then you will see this window, actually it's updating our bias at the moment so do not press any button do not shut down the power do not unplug the charge cable just wait be patient do not press any button because you may damage your laptop if you press some button or shut down the power so one more time please do not press anything wait until the process will finish and actually that's all, you successfully updated BIOS to the latest version. My conclusions. As I said before, updating the BIOS can solve many common issues and problems with your laptop. But I want to note that everything must be done according to the instruction. It's very important. So that later your laptop accidentally stop working. If this video was helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to connect USB microphone to a smartphone.